Okay. Go back. Got a little workout for you. Got a little arm work. Um, I put it to this like everybody that if you're a fighter, and you're doing weight training for getting an arm work as well as getting bad. There's a certain amount you got to do. You can't do three here and three here, three here and three here. Now, if you're going to do something like that, then you need to drop all the way down to like some 20 pounds and five pounds. You want to do 300 this, 300 that, 300 this, and 300 that. But that doesn't prevent you from getting tired because if you're messing around with 250 and you're doing five, three reps, you finna lock your muscle up and you finna fight with a extreme tension and you're gonna burn yourself out. Now, to do that is good if you go back. If you're doing 250, then you drop all the way down to 200 and do a hundred rep at the end of the, that, 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 that entire workout, you do a hundred reps. Or even 50 reps. You good. But if you're gonna do only uh, five sets of threes with 250, and you're a fighter, you mess this yourself up. You got to do more. You got to do more reps, or you're going to burn out your arm. You're going to build your mind up to, to operate on tension only. You need to always be fluent as a fighter. You never want to train in a way where you're going, oh, 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 oh. No, you want to always be fluent. Same thing with the kick. You want to be fluent with it. Constant relax. Bam, 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 bam. The more relaxed you are, the more dangerous you are because your power, whatever you hit the man with, it goes through the man. Let me say that again. Whatever you hit the man with, it goes through with it when you relax. If your attention, it pushed the man. Your force pushed the man. It doesn't hurt him. He fall back and come right back. That's because you're not getting your feet or your hand off the man fast enough. So it does not work. Okay. Let's get started. Follow along with me. Well, I am. The one and only, Matthew Jane Glass for senior. We got a 75 pound dumbbell here. We're going to do a few curls. Starting off on the left. Making sure the bar is centered at my hand properly. If it's too much to one side or the other, I'm going to have a problem once I start. 75 pound. One of the old schools. You can count them if you like. Now I count, I count to myself because the 75 is no joke. So uh, I need all my concentration. So I, you won't be hearing me count out loud. Lean back in order to extend my hand arm all the way out. So on the recorder, it may not look like I'm extending it, but I am. I never know which hand. I'm going to be able to do the most on until once I get started because sometimes I don't do something not realizing I'm going one arm out more than the other. So when I go into a different workout, it let me know that I'm out one arm. You do a little more work to catch up with the other arm. Because I got one bind out arm, one arm that's stretch. Shouldn't be both arms should be at the same. All right. Wanna always keep it moving. Keep it moving, if otherwise you ain't gonna get a workout. You gotta sit there and stare at it for five or six minutes before you pick it up again. 
You're not exercising. You're fooling yourself. Go low. Get lighter weights. I've had this 75 pounder since I was 13 years old. Of course, no, I couldn't pick it up with one hand, but I had to do it with two hands together. By the time I turned 16, I could do it with one hand. I couldn't get about two or three in, or I could, I could work with it. And this is what I used to develop straight posture as a teenager. Imagine a 15 year old training one hand with 75 pounds, hitting another 15 year old in the body. It wasn't nice back in those days. It wasn't nice. But I went to win. I went to win. And I had to be the best. Why now, after all those years, I pretty much master 75 pounds, so I even feel 100 pounds. Go to my page on YouTube, you'll see it, you'll find it in there. So, you want to always make sure you're doing enough to call it a workout. Now, we're going to go from this to a two more drill. It's a three degree workout. I'm behind in my workout because of certain business things I have to take care of. When you study building your life, sometimes you have to lead. Same thing along until you get certain things straight in order to keep going up. Get it to our closing because we got two more drills, arm drill we want to do. Stay with me. Very good. I mean, I did. I have no idea. You won't have to jump. Okay. <coughs> you gonna bag up? <coughs> I gotta have 100 pounds. <coughs> Excuse me. Curl bar here. We're gonna do some breast work. We're gonna pull it towards the chest. Since I just finished with my right, I'm going to start out on my left. Follow along with me. This is also my 100 pound that I also curl. Today, I did it early, so you won't be seeing it.
It's good. Now I'm going to drop all the way down to 20. Now, curling heavy, 75, my first degree muscle, my second degree muscle. It's not going to get into work. Only my six and my seven degree muscle going to get work from that 75 pounder and that 100 pounder. But what about the other muscle, they must get work. Now you really want to stack muscle and you're trying to really grow your tricep and bicep. You got to do the smaller. You got to do the smaller. Or your first, second, and third, fourth muscle will be like iliform muscles. They will be out of shape. So whenever you try to compete with a guy at curly 20, you couldn't keep up. Because your smaller muscle is out of shape. Condition all the muscle. You wouldn't be able to keep up. Okay. We're going here. From the front. Very good. You want to push. As long as you got your oxygen up, you inhale, you just continue to see the weight coming up. Very good. You're working at first, second, and third degree muscles. Now, when you get to the point where you can't hardly get them up, your seven degree muscle going to kick back in. I'm going to start a different for you because your smaller muscle going to burn down. Let's go. I'm not a bodybuilder, but I'm a weight trainer. I know bodybuilder technique because I was trained by bodybuilders. Now, you want to stack muscles, do your small weight. Do the small, do the small weight. Blow yourself out with the small and go mess with the large weights. You will really stack muscles because you develop. Large or small muscle. And once your smaller muscle develops, you start working the large muscle. Won't nobody be able to compete with the size of your tricep. Nobody, and I do mean nobody. Do I do muscle stacking? No. I just make sure all of my muscles is well conditioned, so I can stop my opponent. And that's it. I want giant muscle. I just want them to be extremely in top shape for at least endure for an hour if I have to to defend myself. And yes, I did say an hour. I'm the one and only Matthew Jane Glass Bassini. Found and organized the Holy Take Karate and also King and Queen Corporation. Be good to yourself. Age has nothing to do with your ability. It's your health that's kicking your butt. Eat right and take your vitamin. Please don't forget your water. You think you're hungry? No, you're not. You just need to drink some water. Talk to you later.